motorcycles. Woo! <laughs> so I'm currently going up towards Horseshoe Pass to meet Stuart, who I haven't actually seen in a few years now. Whoa, <laughs> where did you come from? I've not actually seen him since the Ryan's Life Ride and Meetup, so it'll be good to finally see him again. And here we are, Ponderosa. Oh wow, yes, look at all these cars. And that's his bike. <laughs> Do you want to lead off or do you want me to go? I'll follow you. Alright, okay. So yeah, the reason why he's got the big GS is because he actually suffers from arthritis. So he had an Aprilia Tuono before, but it was just giving him too many problems. That's why he struggled then to get on the bike. So it's really the only way to travel about. You've probably noticed as well on my channel, I've done an outro, well, I'm not, I'm not that impressed with it, yeah. I'm not really that excited about it. So I'm probably going to end up taking it off, just purely because I really don't like it. It's not that it's not a good shot, it's just that it's a bit shaky. And also, you may have noticed as well, my font has changed on my thumbnails. That will now be the font I'm using. I was using the font from Shotcut, but I don't use Shotcut anymore, so I'm now using Sony Vega. I guess. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, but yeah, there you go. So what I'm thinking of starting off with as well, when I start selling merch, is I'm going to do stickers first, so I'll get that sorted. You know, I'm not trying to make a quick buck or anything like that, it just helps support me and my channel, it really does. And it will help me do a lot more things and go many more places. Oh my god, it smells like garlic! Ah, but not just any old food, Jerry. Proper food. Scampi, uh, chicken kebs, garlic bread. Garlic bread. So the time's actually finally come. Tomorrow I will be doing my theory test as well, so I'm really excited about that. I can't wait. Can't wait to finally start doing my test for the big bike. I'm not sure whatsoever what sort of bike I'm going to get, but... It's like a mix-up between either a sports bike or a supermoto. I just have no idea and I have no preference really on either one. It's just such a hard decision for me because I love what both can bring. Like the supermoto is going to just be fun, it's going to be stunting. I'm going to be able to go off-road and do things and possibly go more places. And I can just be an absolute hooligan. Whereas a sports bike, it's great for like speeds and corners and everything like that. But the only downside to that is I can't really take it off-road, so there's that. And, well I could, but it's not highly suggested you take a sport bike off-road. <laughs> oh my god! This is how beautiful! Indicators again. I had my indicators on again. Good pain. I know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Little landing strip over here. Look how cool that is to have a plane in your back garden. <laughs> yes, please. Exactly why I need a bigger bike so I can keep up with him. He's gone. <laughs> I suppose this is why big bikes don't tend to want anyone too far as riding along with them because they just slow them down, and I can completely understand that. <laughs> I just wish I had a little bit more power. Like, 125s are fantastic for going around little country lanes and stuff, but not for what he's just done then. The acceleration on that thing, like, I have not got that, and I'm full on pelting it right now. And that's probably not even like a flick of a wrist for him. Why did I just not fill up with more fuel? You idiot! Oh, pep! 
Perfect. Give me some petrol. I need some petrol. <laughs> just a dummy. <laughs> He's just put a dummy there. <laughs> That's so weird. That's obviously to prevent people from speeding. <laughs> Thank God, we have found a petrol station. Oh, and why are petrol prices so expensive lately? on this thing as well. Hey? I love the lights on this thing as well. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of watch, you know. You're not? Well, not really, no. <laughs> but it is comfortable. That's the thing. I had to go for comfort because... Yeah, exactly, your legs, yeah. Back yeah. Oh no, it must be hard. Yeah. You're right. I feel bad like, <laughs> I sort of feel bad like because I can't do much to help you with it. No. <laughs> right. It's a lot better now than it was when I got it because yeah. on it first I was like, oh my god. Can you get it lowered or would you not want it? It comes down a little bit. Yeah. But then the distance between your peg and where your ass is yeah. is less so you... Ah, uh, right. Oh. You right, yeah. Hi. Right. I oh, will make all go. <laughs> it's not a good look, is it? <laughs> go on, give us a look. Go on. <laughs> no, no. Okay, go on. <laughs> One. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. So it's been a lovely little ride out today. There's Stuart on his GS just up in front. And yeah, it's just been so nice out today. It's a little bit nippy right now, but it's not too bad. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Every minute, every night and day. I was just sitting on that GS as well, and oh my god, it is heavy. But anyway, guys and girls, thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't yet liked, please give this video a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't yet, tap that bell and give that bell end a good old tap, because it'll notify of any more videos coming up in the future. And I'll see you again in the next video. 